Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and I'm a librarian here at the Keystone Public Library at the Elyria Public Library System. Today I am going to take you on an adventure through reading. Whether it's a picture book or a chapter book, a story can take you places you never thought that you could go. So join me today while we explore some great titles. The first section we're going to look at is the J chapters. So when young readers are transitioning from picture books to chapter books, these are great reads for them to find. And it's the beginning of their own adventure. So the four that I have for you today are the Haunted Library series by Dory Hillstad Butler, the Last Firehawk series by Katrina Charman, Geronimo Stilton series by Geronimo Stilton, and the Never Girl series. So the first one I have for you is The Haunted Library by Dory Hillstead Butler, and there are a lot in this series. And it follows Kaz, who is a ghost boy, who, after being separated from his family, he meets a real na girl named Claire, who lives above the town library with her parents and her grandparents. Claire has this special ability to see ghosts when other humans cannot. So the two of them, they form a great friendship and they go off on a mystery series. This is for anyone who is not afraid of ghosts and likes odd friendships. The next one I have is the last Firehawk series and it follows Tag, a young owl who wants to be a brave warrior. He gets his chance when a terrible darkness starts to spread across his land, and he has to fight Thorn, a powerful vulture who's using dark man magic. So for anyone who likes stories about animals as the main characters, then they will for sure enjoy this adventure series. Now, if you've seen this series before, Geronimo Stilton has a lot of books in his series. But I'm going to focus on nine of the of a, the series. So Geronimo Stilton goes on a journey through time with his sister Thea, his cousin Trap, and his nephew Benjamin. And while they travel through time, in each time period they help a mouse or a creature in need. And the cool thing about the Geronimo Stilton series is that there is fact with fiction. So you get to see um, interesting facts about that time period and what was going on, as well as an interesting story. The last one I have for you is the Never Girl series by Kiki Thorpe. This follows four friends that get to go on an adventure of a lifetime. They have Tinkerbell and her fairy friends on different adventures on the island, and anyone who enjoys the Tinkerbell series or likes Peter Pan will surely enjoy the mischief that Kate, Mia, Lainey, and Gabby get into. So now let's move into our juvenile fiction. So as readers get older, they're going to have more of an idea of what they enjoy reading. And so our juvenile fiction has a plethora of adventure books for them to go on, but I will name just about five that we have. So we have the Explorer Academy series by Trudy Truitt, The Forgotten Five by Lisa McMahon, Gone Wild by Lisa McMahon, Amari by B.B. Alston, and Endling series by Katherine Applegate. The first one is the Explorer Academy. Now this series is from National Geographic, so it's again for any reader who enjoys that nonfiction to fiction read will for sure enjoy this this academy and it, this adventure follows Cruz who set sail for the shores of Iceland and Norway on the board of the Explorer Academy ship and of course something happens and he's set off on an adventure. The next one I have is the Forgotten Five series. This is a new series and there are two so far and it follows five friends who are the children of supernatural criminals. And these five friends grew up on an isolated island. Their parents are gone. One of the girls finds a note and a map from her dad 
and it sets them off on an adventure to find their parents. And what's cool about this series is that the five friends have supernatural abilities just like their parents and that these abilities help them along the way. But because they were on an island, they have not been in today's world. So they have no idea what a phone is and they have no idea what a tablet or a computer is. They never needed it. They So it's interesting to see how they navigate through our world. This next one I have for you is Going Wild by Lisa McMahon, and it follows Charlie, who finds this watch, this bracelet, and after putting it on, she finds that she has some interesting abilities. So she's able to run as fast as a cheetah. She is very excited about her transformation and wants to know how else to use this device. So. Charlie is forced to put her trust in her new friends to help her uncover the surprising truth behind the mysterious bracelet. The next one I have is Amari by B.B. Austin. This is another new series, so there's only two so far. And Amari is looking for her brother, Quentin. And she goes off on an adventure after she gets a clue of to, as to where he could be. So if anybody um, likes these, the series where you are finding someone, you will definitely enjoy Amari. Last I have the Endling series by Katherine Applegate and this follows Bix who is the youngest member of her pack and her pack is believed to have remarkable abilities and her pack ends up being hunted down and she thinks she's the last one. So she sets off an adventure to find a safe haven and see if the legends of other hidden um, Darren's are true. So she, anyone who likes the series that have animals as main characters and they like adventure, they're going to enjoy this Endling series. Well, thank you for joining me today. That's all I have for you. For more book talks, you can go to illyrialibrary.org. And just a reminder that we do have all of these books at our libraries. So come check them out. Have a great day.